Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collective Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. During the next seven to eight minutes of this video presentation, we are going to go over our buying process. So if you're already familiar with our process or you've watched our videos in the past, please feel free to fast forward to today's vehicle presentation. In Daytona Beach, we have a 25,000 square foot facility where we house 60 to 70 collector cars, all of which we own. Hangsters.com. We are an internet-based business. We have 100, well, 80 to 100 photographs on our website of each vehicle, along with a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we have this content on our website is because the majority of the transactions we conduct, conduct month after month and year after year are done sight unseen. Yes, people wire us money for 30, 50, $70,000 cars without ever coming to look at them. However, I do not encourage that you do this. Um, classic cars, they're awesome, nostalgic, have great looks, uh, get a lot of compliments, a lot of eyeball, a lot of appeal. Um, but they're 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not that brand new car that you're gonna go get from your Ford or Dodge dealer or Chevrolet dealership. Um, they all have flaws, deficiencies, weaknesses, tendencies, some of which we try to disclose in our video presentation and in our photos on our website. I encourage you to come in person to check out the car for yourself. We would gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint condition, interior condition, real good out in the natural light. You can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, look the car real good with your own eyes. We have two twin post lifts here in our Daytona showroom. We'd be more than happy to put the car in air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, uh, the suspension components, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pan condition, the tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, accelerates, uh, how the transmission shifts, how the ride feels, if there's any noises you don't like, if there's any kind of vibrations or, or anything like that you do not like. This way, when the vehicle shows up to you wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself in its entirety. In our photo shoots and in our video presentations, we try to represent each vehicle as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can and offer full transparency. However, we can only cover so much content in a 20 minute video presentation and this is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check the car out for yourself. What happens next once you decide on your classic ride? Where do we go from here? If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you want to bring us cash, we'll take that too. That does still spend today, believe it or not. Maybe you don't have the cash to buy one of these cars. What, what are my financing options? We work with a few different collector car lenders that offer terms on these vehicles. The terms start at five years and they go up to 15 years. Approval is going to be based on your credit bureau, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, things like that. I discussed 15 year term. They aren't going to do 15 years on a $25,000 car. There is price cutoffs for that 15 year approval and obviously you have to qualify on the credit end. The uh, loans from the lenders are simple interest loans which means if your payment's $500 a month and you pay $800 a month, the extra $300 goes towards principal. Also, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for an eight year term, which is about the average approval term, and you pay it off in 12 months, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics also. Short term money loans, you can do that. And then you can pull money out of your home equity line or your 401k or pull cash out of the bank, whatever the circumstances that you have are. Once the vehicle is paid for, what happens? The car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We sell old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We torque the lug nuts, we check the tire pressure, we check the fluid levels, make sure the AC's blown cold if it's equipped, make sure your brake lights work, your horn works, your wipers work, all of that stuff. Once it's green lighted and the guys say it's good to go, then we detail it. After it goes through detail, a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, 
If you're in a more rural or remote destination or a holiday falls in there, or maybe you're on the West Coast where they do fewer runs because of obviously the travel distance, it may take three, four, five business days to get a truck here, but I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We are excited we earned your business as a customer. We will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're the one handling the shipping, let's say you're sending your own carrier or you're coming with your own enclosed or open transport or you're driving the car home because you're close enough, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready and you can come pick the vehicle up. That about covers our uh, purchasing process here at Hangster's Hot Rods of Daytona. So let's get started with today's vehicle presentation. What do we have today? 1970 Ford Mach 1 Mustang, a true Mach 1. This car is exceptional. This car will not be in our inventory, I would venture to say, beyond 48 hours would be my guess. Um, I'm extremely excited to have this car in our possession. Um, so let's get started and check it out. This, this presentation is going to be a little bit longer because it's an exceptional car, and when it's an exceptional vehicle, we spend a little bit longer on the presentation so you can kind of uh, get that vibe as well. So let's check it out. 351, it's what the car started life with, okay? Uh, it is a period correct 351. It is from 1970, it's a 1970 vehicle. On the driver's side firewall, you have your power brake booster. The car started life with power brakes and still has power brakes. This contraption here, that is your power steering reservoir. So the car started life with power steering as well. It has power steering today. The car also started life this fantastic grabber green color. Let me tell you, I do not have any uh, history on the restoration of this car. You know, when was the motor painted? We do not know. Uh, when was the tranny rebuilt? We do not know. Uh, when was the car painted? Not sure. But let me tell you what I can tell you or assure you. Uh, this is a restoration that is on the upper echelon of quality. Um, throughout the entire thing, and I'm gonna show you uh, in this video why. Let's start out with the paint. First of all, we always usually start with the uh, hood and the top of the fenders. Colors uniform, clears uniform, there's zero debris in the paint. There is uh, many coats of color on this car, many coats of clear. These stripes are vinyl, uh, so they, uh, and look, are they faded? No. Are they peeling off the car? No. Um, so I don't know when the car was painted, but I can tell you one thing, when the car was painted, whoever had it painted spared no expense on the restoration because that is not a cheap paint job on that car. I'm going to tell you that paint's a 9 out of 10. Condition of the front end. Uh, bumper. The chrome is fantastic. The grill, fantastic. Lower spoiler, all in one piece. Nothing broken, nothing cracked down there. Uh, headlight clarity is great. Uh, chrome that encompasses the uh, front grille there in fantastic condition. This is a high-end 1970 Mach 1. If you're in the market for a Mach 1 and you've been waiting for the right one, let me tell you, this is the right one. What an excellent color to have here in Florida and what an excellent color you know, to have as a muscle car, classic car, collector car enthusiast. Those wide track tires, uh, hope you're not too partial to them because they're not coming with the car. We're putting brand new raised white letter Coopers on there. Uh, they're over at the shop already. They were delivered this morning, so i got to run it over this afternoon and allow them to put them on. The reason why we're doing the presentation without them on is because I'm not waiting on uh, tire uh, vendors to hold me up on progress with the, uh, the sale of the vehicle. So uh, Cooper raised white letters, brand new. It'll have brand new sneakers on it when you get it. Uh, five lug nuts. Good shape, uh, not rusted, pitted. Uh, all your center caps on your wheels are good. Your chrome on the wheel itself, not rusted, pitted. You know, the uh, Mustang wheels have a tendency to want to pit and rust. These ones are not that way. While we're down here, let's check out the uh, paint condition on the uh, lower portion of the fender and the uh, Mach 1 trim here on the lower portion of the fenders, doors, rockers, quarters. Uh, this car is exceptional. So down low here, you're looking, you got direct camera angle at the paint. We're five inches away. Uh, around the wheel well, uh, no blistering, bubbling, cracking. Uh, the paint on the car is fantastic. Uh, front fender, I do not see any flaws in the paint whatsoever. 
Let's step up here for a minute to our glass clarity. Front windshield looks good. I don't see anything cracked, chipped, uh, busted, broken. Uh, the chrome that encompasses the front windshield is in good shape. There is a little tiny dent up there if you want to nitpick it, but uh, other than that, uh, pretty good. Mirrors, dual. One on the driver door, one on the passenger door, painted the same grabber green as the car. Let's hop up for a moment to our roof. The paint up there. Once again, fantastic, just like the rest of the car. Nine out of 10 in my personal opinion, and I see a lot of cars. I look at a lot of cars, buy a lot of cars, sell a lot of cars. Um, really nice uniform paint, uniform clear up top. There is the, whoever shot this car knew what the hell they were doing. Let me tell you something, because that paint is fantastic. Kudos to whoever painted this. If you're watching this video and you painted it, great job. Um, door, driver door, top, center, everything's nice. Uh, bottom there. So over time, you know, the Mustang uh, badging that you see down low that covers the rocker, uh, the door, the, you know, quarters, uh, the fender there a little bit. Uh, it, it takes a lot of hits, you know, because it's low to the road. This one's in great shape. Back to our glass clarity for a moment. Uh, door glass, uh, vent window glass back there in the uh, back, exceptional condition. Really nice clarity on the, uh, on the glass, almost I don't even see any scratches. So really, really nice glass condition. Interior, just as good as the exterior. Let's start with the door panel. Uh, how about that courtesy light illuminating in the door when I open up the door? Bottom of the door panel, carpeting. Top of the door panel, vinyl. Remote mirror that works. Window cranks, no power windows, no power door locks. It's all manual stuff on the 70 Mach 1. Uh, wood grain in the center of the door panel in nice condition. How about the back seat? Outstanding. Really good interior. Um, you know, not a whole lot of people can fit back there, so there's not really a whole lot of uh, activity going on in the back seat. They make these uh, floor mats. They're freaking huge for the back seat. I don't know why they do that, but uh, back seat condition, really nice in the car. Uh, the uh, carpeting anyways, you know, not uh, heavily discolored, torn, stained in any way. I don't even know if I can get this floor mat. I mean, well, we got the seat back all the way, which is where I need it to drive. So I'm going to stick it right there for now, just like that. Um, and then we'll figure out how to get back under the seat. Uh, vinyl condition, uh, really nice, uh, not torn, anything going on there, not faded. Um, look, rim blow steering wheel. It works. Um, Floor mat, driver's side, brand new. Got that, not too much carpet to really show you because almost the entire uh, driver's side is all that rubber. Uh, look at your carpeting going up to your center console there. See how nice and black it is and it's not faded or anything. Uh, wood grain around your bezels looks good. Uh, passenger side door, look at the illumination of the light when I open up the driver door. Courtesy lights in the sail panels, both work. I'll put the seat forward for a second here. See the uh, sail panel back there? Courtesy light illuminating, the same way on the driver's side. We can't get that angle, but I'll show you that angle from the passenger side. Um, headliner, uh, excellent condition, no issues there either. So how about we take a better look at the interior uh, when we're on the test drive? But really nice. Body lines on the car. Uh, rear quarter, driver door, front fender, all uh, in exceptional condition. Uh, they all lines up real nice. So when you're in the classic car business or the hobby or the, um, you know, when you collect cars, people ask you, how straight is the car? What they're referring to is the body line. You know, the body lines. You know, how the rear quarter lines up to the driver door, to the front fender. And when you stare down the side of this car, see how there's no waves in the doors or the quarters or the uh, front fender that's because i would venture to guess if i were a betting man that this car is 99.7 percent sheet metal if not 100 percent because that's how nice this car looks in person uh your rear uh window louvers here uh in nice shape they're not faded i'm going to take this up and i'm going to show you uh something here uh, glass clarity is good back here. We got some Kenwood 6x9s in the rear there. We'll find out if those work on the test drive. 
Parnelli Jones Ford. Okay, so Parnelli Jones was a race team owner back in the day, and I guess he had a Ford dealership. Typically, I take stickers off there. I'm leaving that on there, and I'm gonna show you why shortly. Um, but if you don't like it, take a razor blade, peel it off. But it's very possible that either this car was sold at, or spent time at, or was resold at one time at this particular Ford dealership. Maybe that's why whoever put that there put that particular sticker there. Um, and I'll show you again why in just a, a few moments. So the uh, rear spoiler on the car, matte black. And uh, so the matte black spoilers on the Mustangs, they have a tendency to change two or three or four different colors because sun fade, obviously when you're dealing with matte black with no paint, uh, no clear, you're talking about you know exposure to sunlight. Uh, this one's all one uniform color and looks good. Uh, let's take a look at a couple different things in the rear. First of all, the uh, black pinstriping is also, once again, uh, vinyl. It's in good shape. You see it's not faded, not peeling, not cracked. Mach 1 badge in the center of the deck lid. For those of you who are, that are Ford fanatics or Mustang enthusiasts, you probably know that, you know, 64 and a half through 70, maybe even 71, 72 Mustangs. Tail light bezels have a tendency to want to pit, corrode, rust, look like crap. Um, these ones look fantastic. Same thing with your gas cap here. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper, uh, no uh, patina, no rust, no pitting, no bubbles, no rust around the bumper bolts, your uh, dual exhaust there, chrome tips down low, reverse lights in the lower valance, everything looks good. Trunk. So, see this little rod here? Pop that loose, swing it over to the passenger side rear quarter, little hole, insert, holds your trunk lid open. Really cool. Uh, full size spare. Jack. Trunk mat. Trunk. You know this is a gas tank, you know there's no issues there, so let me show you the gas tank real quick, show you how nice that thing looks. There's a little piece of uh, black covering over the gas tank, which is also nice. Makes it nice if you do want to haul a little bit of something in here, at least you're not setting stuff directly on your fuel tank. Um, Marty report. So, 1970, built at Dearborn. Mach 1, 351, December 1969. Grab a green paint. Black vinyl Mach 1 bucket seats, on and on and on. Dealer number, 58P405. I wonder if that is that dealership that's on the rear window. I don't know, I didn't do the research. I don't have that much time on my hands, but if you guys want to, you certainly can, because there'll be a still photo of the Smarty Report on our website. Your vehicle is equipped with the following, 351 Windsor, black hood stripe, and on and on and on. Uh, Mr. Marty also offers uh, more uh, substantial Marty reports with like window stickers and things like that. So if that's something you want to uh, contribute, Marty Auto Works, you can uh, reach out to Mr. Kevin Marty and you can uh, obtain more information for this car. Passenger side. Once again, check out those body lines. Look how nicely the door fits to the rear cord to the front fender. There's nothing protruding down here. Everything lines up nicely, no door hang. Get a shot of the lower quarter, the wheel opening molding. Well, there's no molding on the car. The wheel opening uh, around the wheel there that, you know, if there's any issue with subpar workmanship, body work, or anything, rust issues, rot issues, they'll usually start popping up around the wheel well because it's thin metal right there, and uh, this car is exceptional. Again, uh, glass clarity, um, drip rail moldings, Everything just as nice on the passenger side as it was on the driver's. Chrome real nice, uh, vent window glass real nice, uh, driver door, passenger door, uh, window glass exceptional, uh, mirror clarity real nice. Pop open the passenger door real quick. Passenger side, same deal as the driver's side. Uh, door panel, check it out. Uh, no wear in the wood grain. No tears in the vinyl, no warping at the bottom of the door, no discoloration of the carpet. Uh, courtesy lights in the door illuminate on the passenger door. They illuminate on the driver door. 
they illuminate in the, uh, let me show you, since we're on the other side, I'll show you that sail panel on the uh, driver's side there. See that light? The uh, door panel. Front and rear seat belts, and they're OEMs, so uh, keep that in mind. The center console, wood grain and black plastic, exceptional condition, automatic car, obviously. Let me see. Oh, clock's not ticking. So, uh, I mean, this car's great. Uh, brand new floor mats in the car. Uh, all your, look at your, uh, even the paint on the uh, door jams. You know, really, really nice. Door sills, look at how nice uh, the chrome is on those door sills. Okay, we will give you one last shot here um, on the uh, passenger side of the front fender um, and the paint. I have not seen one thing to point out as a paint flaw in this car. So, uh, and just as I say that, there's one. Looks like a little chip right there. That's the only thing I've seen on the whole car, both high and low. 1970 Ford Mach 1, grabber green, period correct motor, uh, power steering, power brakes, Marty Report, 9 out of 10 paint, getting brand new sneakers. We're going to put it in the air and check out the undercarriage because guess what? The undercarriage is painted the same color as the top of the car. So that's outstanding as well. I'll do a quick undercarriage presentation for you guys, and then we'll take it on a test drive and show you how the car runs out. How about this undercarriage? Uh, so I took the starter off and... Uh, Checked out the uh, date code and, you know, casting number, all that stuff. So we will have that uh, in the still photos for you guys. This breaks up front on this 70 Mach 1 Mustang. How about that Ford engine block blue oil pan and block? There's not much you can really see because of all the uh, front suspension components, steering components. Um, I can tell you, though, that the side of the block is nice and dry on both sides from what I can see. Maybe you can get a little shot there. Past the steering components, maybe. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video, but I don't want to say that I didn't try to show you the oil pan. Okay, uh, tranny pan, that's nice and dry. Uh, bell housing's nice and dry. Cross member supporting the transmission up looks to be in good shape, not rusted, rotted. And why would it be? Check out this car. Painted undercarriage, same color as the vehicle. Frame rails look fantastic on the car. Floor pans. Is there any sectioning? Is there any patching? Is there any silicone? Obviously not. The pans are painted the same exact color as the car. What a great vehicle. E-brakes hooked up, functions. Um, drive shaft, whoever did the restoration has the uh, factory markings on them. On it, I'm sorry. Uh, tranny pan looks nice and dry. Tail shaft seal looks nice and dry. Took a look at that when we walked the car. That looks good. Problematic areas on your transmissions are always your tail shaft seal, your transpan gasket, and then the speedo cable, wherever the hell it runs on this car. Yeah, somewhere on the side of the transmission up there where you can't see where it's uh, past the cross member. But uh, real, real good looking car underneath. Looks like a newer exhaust on the car. Uh, so we didn't do anything to this undercarriage. Uh, just the way you see it is the way we got it. Uh, we didn't paint it, we didn't uh, put the exhaust on it. The exhaust here uh, looks like, again, brand new, uh, or, I'm sorry, newer. Um, welds look fantastic, no rust holes, rod holes, pin holes in the pipes themselves. You have exhaust manifolds coming down to your duals. Uh, and then back to your mufflers, accelerator. So those are what uh, those are. Drum brakes in the rear. Uh, the rear end housing also has the uh, correct uh, factory markings on it. Frame rails on the car painted the same color as the vehicle. You can see the frame rail on the passenger side going all the way back to the bumper, uh, up over the rear end, and then it's the same on the driver's side. Uh, dual chrome tips that we showed you during the walk around presentation. Reverse lights, lower balance looks fantastic. Car looks great with our hangsters plate on there. Let's set our 1971 period correct 351 car, power steering, power brakes, Marty report down on the ground. We're going to take it on a little test drive and show you how the car runs out.
I'm going to start with the radio, see if the song's still on. Yeah, what an appropriate song, right? Man of the Bone, that's his freaking car. I showed you the rim blow, but we'll show you again. It works. Um, 86,039 is the mileage on the odometer. The title reads exempt. How about our fuel gauge? No, we are not on empty. We do not have a functioning fuel gauge. It is the fuel sending unit. We, we have a new one sitting over there with our tires, so we'll put it in when it goes over for tires, so you will have a functioning fuel gauge. Um, driver's side turn. Working. Passenger side turn. Working. I don't know if you can see that with the sun glare. There you go. How about that? Uh, oil pressure works. Wipers. Guess I'm all excited. I freaking forgot to turn down our radio. Told you the uh, clock does not work. We don't fix clocks, so I can assure you that won't be working when you get the car. Um, let me move my phone out of the way here, and I'll show you the uh, center console. Pretty good shape on the vehicle. Um, you can see we're sitting here idling, idling nicely. Um, yeah. Oh, I showed you the remote mirror works in the showroom, so that functions. Might as well adjust it while I'm there, so I can see what the hell I'm doing. I can't see anything on the passenger side, but that's okay. Alrighty. Headliner's in great shape. This is a badass car. Alright. This one won't be around long. You better get it before it is gone. If you're looking for a Mach 1, this is the real deal right here. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website. So we're going to find all the photos of this car, along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our Mach 1 includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on the 351, the tranny, the uh, rear end, the internal components. It doesn't cover oil leaks. It doesn't cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators only covers major mechanical breakdowns of your powertrain. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, shipping comes off. Our full retail price program is a turnkey program. You get the uh, security and the uh, convenience and the luxury of the warranty, and then you also get the shipping handled for you by us. We Vest the driver to make sure they're properly licensed to carry this pretty expensive piece of machinery. We uh, arranged for the pickup. We arranged for the delivery. Uh, we cut the check to the driver when they pick up the car. At a negotiated cost, you will handle all that legwork on your own. Uh, if you are a collector or enthusiast, or maybe you're just a car person, you have your own opener and closed trailer, you're welcome to come pick the car up. Um, of course, if you're local to us here in Daytona Beach, you can certainly drive the car home. Um, and of course, maybe you had uh, a carrier in the past you've used, you've had a good experience with, you're more than welcome to use them as well. But full retail price, you get the warranty and the shipping. Negotiated price, you get neither. And uh, like I said, you have a couple different options when it comes to picking up. We don't make any money off the shipping. We provide it as a convenience to our customers, to our buyers, um, you know, arranging the transport, paying the driver, all that stuff. You want to handle it yourself, I have no issue with that. It gives us less work to do. This Mach 1 is fantastic. I can't stress that enough. Um, every now and then, you know, I, I buy and sell a lot of cars uh, every month, every year. and. Uh, you get the um, you get the benefit of having a piece of uh, inventory through your showroom every now and then. It's just on the upper echelon of a quality. And there's about eight to twelve vehicles a year that you remember. It's like wow, 
that thing was really fantastic. Remember that Grabber Green 60, or I'm sorry, Grabber Green uh, 70 Mach 1 that we had? Wasn't that thing fantastic? Oh yeah, I remember that car. That thing was freaking awesome. Well, this is that car, so um, I can't stress that enough. Look at the uh, bezel clarity while we're stopped and there's no sun glare. Look at how nice those bezels are, how nice and clear. Thank you. See? This guy likes and he's riding a dirt bike. Um, but no, it's really an exceptional car. Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida, hangsters.com. We'd love to earn your business. Add your truck to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Hangsters.com, Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out.